The nun was so daring that she deliberately left the door open and slowly removed her dress. At that moment, a handsome young man came outside and was fascinated by what he saw. The woman knew she was being watched, but she was still doing it on purpose. The boy's heart was pounding and his eyes were glazed over, so he had to run away. The woman looks at the boy's figure with a smug look on her face. Her name is Alicia, she's been divorced for 10 years without a new man. Every lonely night, she couldn't sleep, just when she was on the verge of a breakdown. A handsome young man caught her eye. The principal immediately introduced Glenn to Alicia as the man of the hour in their school, not only for his excellent grades, but also for his musical accomplishments. Alicia was instantly intrigued, so much so that every time she returned to her room, she would turn on her computer and enjoy his songs. The next morning, Alicia was all smiles when she found out that she was going to give Glenn a lesson, but just as she arrived at the classroom, she saw Glenn and Joey, a girl from her class, eyeing each other. Alicia is not happy and jealousy is written all over her face. Immediately she arranged for the girl to be seated in the front row to distance herself from the boy she wanted. After class the woman calls out to Glenn and questions him about his relationship with Joey. The boy hesitates and tells Alicia he has nothing to do with her. This answer satisfies the woman. But the next day, she saw Glenn flirting with Joey. Alicia was furious and put a stop to their behavior. The girl's disdainful back made her mad. She gripped the crucifix on her chest, even when her hand was pierced. After class, Alicia left Glenn behind once again. Citing a dropping grades, she sent him to her room to tutor alone. Then the woman went back inside, stripped off her uniform, changed into a sexy nightgown, and left the door ajar as she applied the oils to her body. Glenn was so shocked by what he saw that he wanted to go straight in. But in the end, reason won out. A divorced woman of 10 years is so attractive that she falls in love with a young man to fill the void in her heart. Even though he's her student, she doesn't flinch. Unbeknownst to her, it's the boy's presence that sends her spiraling into the abyss of love. That day, Alicia saw Glenn fixing the garden. It was a perfect opportunity. Alicia went over to talk to him and unbuttoned her breasts on the pretext that it was hot. The scene before him, the boy's mouth went dry. Alicia saw Glenn's reaction and instantly remembered the plan in her mind. In that evening, Alicia sneaked into Glenn's room and showed her love for him. That boy, who still had his senses, refused on the spot. After all, they are teachers and students. But the boy was obviously too young. A woman's slightest move, and he's instantly disillusioned. The next day, Glenn came to the church to confess his guilt and ask for God's forgiveness. And the next thing he knew, Alicia was in his sights. But the boy's luck didn't stop there. At the end of the week, Alicia follows Glenn home, and as she hides in the corner to listen to the boy sing, Glenn's cell phone rings. Glenn's cell phone rings, and A and Joey meet up for a night out tomorrow night. Upon hearing this, Alicia's anger was too much to contain, so she went back to her car and let it all out, clearly obsessed with Glenn to the point of insanity. The next day, Alicia came up with a plan to sneak into Joey's dorm room in the dark and put some contraband in her textbook. As expected, during class, Alicia discovered the contents of Joey's books. She was in a state of shock. She took the opportunity to send the girl to the principal. Soon the story spread throughout the school and Joey was suspended. A bottle was also found in Glenn's room and the principal was about to call his parents when Alicia came forward to plead for him. After all, he wasn't caught in the act. And as punishment, Glenn couldn't go home on the weekends and had to do volunteer labor at school. And in the days that followed, Alicia became more and more paranoid, often sneaking into Glenn's room when he wasn't there and sniffing his clothes. But Glenn's sister caught sight of this. She turned around and told her brother about it. Glenn had a hard time accepting Alicia's perverted behavior and asked to win the relationship. He didn't realize that the woman loved Glenn too much. What she did next, no one else could have done. A beautiful nun in her late 40s falls head over heels for her student. Seeing Glenn with Joey, who had returned to school, was too much for Alicia to bear. So while Joey was in the shower, Alicia rushed right into the bathroom, and in a fit of madness, Joey died instantly. On her way out, Alicia threw the soap on the floor to make it look like the girl died accidentally. To get Glenn to submit to her, Alicia pretended to be unconscious in his bed. The boy was so scared that it tried to give him artificial respiration. Suddenly, the woman sits up and tells him that it was just a prank. Alicia did it on purpose. Glenn was furious and wanted to break it off. 
and when he saw how determined he was to break it off, Alicia immediately showed him a small video of the first time they were together. The woman had recorded it on her cell phone. Glenn had no choice but to give in. When he got home, Glenn was still angry, so he confessed everything to his sister. Glenn told his sister all about his relationship with the nun teacher, and she didn't think it was that simple. So the two of them put their heads together and decided. They decided to steal the video first. The next day, the priest came to inspect the school. The principal talked to him about Alicia, but through the priest's description, but through the priest's description, the principal became suspicious. The Alicia she knew was completely different from the one the priest had told her about. So the principal called Alicia to his office and asked her why she was lying. It turned out that the real Alicia had been killed long ago and that she had come to the school for one simple reason. She came to the school for the simple purpose of courting her favorite, Glenn. The principal didn't want to say anything to her. He grabbed his cell phone and called the police. At this point, Alicia was close to madness, copied the lamp, and smashed it at the principal. At the same time, the siblings came to Alicia's room. They opened the computer to destroy the video. They realized the woman's true identity and took her computer to report to the principal, but Alicia stopped them in their tracks. Glenn had no problem calling her out for what she was. But just as the siblings turned around, Alicia turned on Glenn's sister with a weapon in her hand. Just as she was about to kill, the principal showed up just in time. Alicia's weapon, but the tables were soon turned. Alicia tried to strangle the principal with a crucifix. Alicia tried to strangle the headmaster with a crucifix, but Glenn stabbed her in the back. And so the woman fell to the ground, paying a terrible price for her madness. Okay, that's it for today's video. Movie title, That Nun, a movie about a woman whose desires lead to the death of others and ultimately to the depths of the abyss. Goo 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 goo.